Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today is going to be another Forzathon guide. Uh, this week's Forzathon is hand-built supercar which revolves around the 2010 Noble M600 uh, which some of you may know is built in England, more specifically Leicestershire. Uh, anyway, <laughs> to the actual car, it will cost you about half a million credits. Now you can pick it up a lot cheaper in the auction house which is quite handy but if you do spend a fortune on it if you've got some spare skill points, you can get 200,000 credits back um, by using a few of those skill points there. Now, I have, of course, created a tune for it. It's called Forzathon EZ. Uh, my gamer tag is Desert01, and it will hit just over 250 mile an hour. It's a cracking car. Uh, the first challenge just wants you to simply drive 10 miles in your Noble M600. So as I usually do, just go to the highway. Uh, flat out and you'll get those 10 miles covered in about three minutes maybe four um, to be honest it'll, it's basically one run and a bit uh, on the motorway it's not too difficult and if you're flat out it'll be done a lot quicker uh, and it's not a terribly ha uh, like handling wise car um, it's not too bad uh, so you can handle those bends at speed but it won't take you that long now the next challenge here just wants you to get 15 stars in totals from various PR stunts now you can use the same PR stunt over again if you want uh, and as I'm sure you're aware the PR stunts are the speed traps the speed zones the drift zones and the danger signs um, so you basically pick the easiest one uh, and just rinse and repeat now the one I went for was the Asmore speed trap uh, because all you need to get three stars is to hit 140 mile an hour which is very easy in this car but some of the others you can use are the forest green speed zone as for three stars on there you only need 90 mile an hour uh, which is actually very easy and very quick that's the speed zone i always go for or most of the danger traps are uh, danger signs are easy but the Ambleside Edge one is actually very, very easy to get three stars on. But I recommend using a speed trap or speed zone, uh, as with the jump, you have to turn around and go back again. But as you can see here, it's very, very easy and it's very, very quick to attain those 15 stars using the Asmore speed, uh, speed trap. Like I said, 140 mile an hour to get three stars uh, is actually very, very simple, especially for a car like the Noble M600. Uh, it'll get to 140 mile an hour very, very quickly. Uh, so I'm just showing you here a bit of sped up footage it did not take me long it's about a minute and a half to get the whole 15 stars so a very very easy challenge there now your final one just wants you to hit 225 mile an hour in the noble m600 uh, which as i'm sure you're aware will be very very easy in a supercar like this um, and again i just went back to the motorway because it's a long stretch of road and you can hit that sort of speed very easily um, the tune definitely helped here as i think stock it will literally just max out at about 225 26 mile an hour sort of thing uh, so you will need to tune it a bit this one will just keep going like i said up to 250 mile an hour uh, so it's very very easy challenge uh, it's not too difficult just obviously don't do what i did there and slam into an ai drive tar um, but anyway guys i hope you found this helpful although i'm sure to be honest you're all pros at this by now and i'm sure you've already blitzed it before you've even watched this video but if you did need a hand obviously that's why i'm here if you have any questions about the challenges, please do say so in the comments below or just questions about anything. I don't mind. I always try and respond to every single comment. Um, but apart from that, guys, I want to say a massive thank you for your support. I hope you've enjoyed this. All the best and take care. Cheers, guys.